Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to answer the big question, Aeolian or Dorian? I always keep drilling that you have to know which scale to play over the chords. So when you see a minor chord like this, for example, like, so how do you decide if you're gonna use the Aeolian minor like this? Or the Dorian minor? How do you decide? Well, I'm going to tell you my method and the way I decide. Imagine we have to solo over two chords, C major 7, F minor 7. So it's the C major 7, simple, it's the first chord, it's going to get the Ionian chord scale. Simple. Okay, next chord is F minor 7. Wow, so is this going to be Aeolian? Or is this going to be Dorian? And how should we decide? Well, there are some rules in harmony that would have you make one choice or another. But the way I look at it is a lot simpler. My rule is very simple. I want to preserve as many common tones as possible between each two consecutive chords. If I'm going to improvise on this harmony, then common tones are always my friends because common tones will help me tie the chords together. So let's see, what is C Ionian? It has that D natural in it. For F minor, which is the next chord, if there is a choice between having a D flat for Aeolian F minor or D natural for Dorian F minor, I will always opt for D natural. Why? Again, because that D natural is a note that already existed in the previous chord scale that I was playing, which is C major Aeonian, right? C major. So if I decided to play C Aeonian, to F Aeolian, it's not bad per se, but it certainly does mean bye-bye common tone D natural. And I am not one to give up on common tones, gang. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Here's another example. In this case, it's not the choice between Aeolian or Dorian. It's a choice between Ionian, which is major, and Lydian, which is almost like major except with a sharp four. So when am I going to use Ionian major, or when am I going to use Lydian instead? Let's examine these two chords. F major 7. We're going to improvise on it with the help of F Ionian scale, F major 7. But the next chord after that is C sharp major 7. So what should be the chord scale on this chord? Well. If F major 7 has a G natural in it, I very well may opt for giving that C sharp major 7 a Lydian sound. Why? So that I could preserve this G natural as a common tone between both chords. Whereas if I would have said that C-sharp is going to get an Ionian instead of Lydian, it would have not been the G-natural, it would have been a G-flat. And then, bye-bye common tone, right? And I don't like bye-bye common tone. I like common tone. <laughs> common tones help improvise on chord changes. I hope you understand the process now. This is not the one correct way of doing it, but this is a way that works for me when I try to decide which chord scale to use on two consecutive chords. Whenever I have multiple choices of chord scales to use, I'll usually look at the chord before and the chord scale before and say, well, which chord scale can I use that would keep as many common tones with the previous chord scale? And that's the one I'll usually opt for.
That's about it, you guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or requests. I respond to every single person and coach you guys on how to make the most out of these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing to the channel. I make a lot more videos like this one and teach you guys bread and butter material to improve your playing right here and right now. If you're already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so that when I make more of these videos, you'll be the first one to know about it. Thanks for checking out the video and I will see you next time.